In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you a way in which you can add fonts that you may not expect when you want to add to your font library accessible to PowerDirector and truly any Windows application. What I'm going to do in this case is rely on fonts that come through the templates available through the video intro and outro room. So if you have a copy of PowerDirector that uses that tool, you click on the button and get into the video intro and outro room. Now I'm going to expand the screen to see if I can make these as big as possible. It doesn't really matter what I'm going to click on, just one that I think may have a font I don't already have. I'm going to make sure my thumbnails are as big as I can get them. It looks like they're there already. So now I'm going to look on this word thanks. Maybe that's a font that I don't have, that hollow stiff font. So I'm going to double click on that and it will attempt to download that particular template. But now I got a message. The template uses fonts that are currently not available on your computer. Do you want to download the fonts now? So that tells me there are fonts in this template I don't have in my current copy of Windows in the font family. It analyzes them and looks for, oh, you don't have this. Do you want it? And it will make it available. So then I click on that on the yes, and then what happens on my copy of Windows is I have a pop-up screen that makes me want to say, do I really want to make this change? And I have to say yes or no. That is not something that the system records here when I'm recording this for you, but you may see something like that. So if I agree, I click on yes, and then it resumes and it loads the template. So the fonts load in one way and then the template loads normally. And so it pops up on the screen. Now, which font is new? I'm not sure. Let me click on the word thanks here and try to edit that. If I do look on the title, I'm going to look at there and oh, it's Arial. OK, I already have Arial. That must not be it. Let's try the for watching. I click on that. Oh, that's Lato, L-A-T-O. That doesn't sound familiar. That's probably my new font. So that's a way in which you can determine the name of the font in case you want to use it in another situation. So that's an example of how you can do that. Now, you may see some fonts available in some of the templates that you think are new, and in reality, they're not. Let, let's see what happens in that case. I'll scroll to uh, some other one here. Let's say I click on, let's see which one will I pick. Let's take this happy birthday one here. Maybe I don't have that font for happy birthday. I click on it and it just downloads a template. It doesn't stop and say, oh, I have new fonts for you. If you delete a font in your Windows system that is already on one of the templates, it will revert to a different kind of font. It will substitute the font for something else. If you make edits after you do this, you may have some incongruities. That's an interesting bonus that you might enjoy.